You know, I'm watching the returns, and all I can say is... Outcome is the results. Right. We know God is still on the throne, he right? But I've got it covered. Christ I'm wearing Lord. my red. I'm wearing my blue, <laughs> red, white. Where's my white? Oh, my shoe. I got oh, a little white you on got my shoe. White. There you and go. blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we're believing. We are we praying are. and believing. Father, Your will yes, be done. Lord. I'm looking as as we're doing this because I just want to see all these. All these, but it's going to take all evening. I'm telling you, it's don't go by what's happening right now. Early. It's too not. Early. It's not there yet. Okay, so <laughs> just relax, get away from that, and let's just have a good time in the Lord. Father, I pray Amen. tonight. Thank you. Jesus. I know there are people this evening that need a touch of God in their lives. Yes. They need healing. I got so many requests for prayer, uh, for Cheryl and I to pray, and we're going to believe that miracles going to take place tonight. While I'm playing, you see these ten fingers right here. These fingers are anointed. I, they've been anointed for so long. And I'm telling you, when I put my hands on this keyboard Amen. and I play the music about the power of God, about the healing power of God, about the hope that we have in Christ Jesus, all of what is right in God's will for you, yes. I'm going to play that right now. And if you're praying for a miracle, if you're requesting for a miracle tonight, I know that Miss Barrett out there, her back has been bothering her. She doesn't want any more surgery. She's already been through that already. We just want to believe for a miraculous... Cheryl, we got to believe for miraculous healing in yes. the body. Well, we are we believing. We have to, yes. Right now. Because she has been in excruciating pain. And she says, Dino, I don't think I can take it anymore. I don't think I can take another surgery. And besides, mm -hmm. I'm living alone. I don't know how I'm going to handle it and so on. But you know what? We're going to turn that around into something that we know that God, you will be able to handle it because yes. God's going to touch your body. And you she knows. take that pain away she, right now. She may be living alone, but she's not alone. She, you're not alone. You are never and there's alone. there's someone else the out Lord there keeps saying, I li I'm all alone. I have, But no, you're not. No. Jesus is there. you got to call on the name of Jesus. What yes. better person, what better, what better would you want? And to know that Christ Jesus is by your side. The okay. one that created you in the first place yeah, is going right to remake you. your yes, life yes, right yes. now. Besides, in when we, we're in heaven. Uh, we're going to have new backs. We're going to have oh, all yes. that stuff that's in your back and all Hips the, the, and the metal and all that and is going to go away. New body. <laughs> Amen. Are you sure? You think we're going to be thin? Oh, Those that I are overweight. Think, what, what do you I, think? think whatever whatever it is it is that you believe in your heart the lord exactly. is going to make that supply for you it's not going to be fit or fat it's going to be exactly it, how it, it's God not a has physical us, right? body it's, it's a new spiritual yeah. body yes. <laughs> praise okay. the lord all right as i told you these 10 fingers right here have been prayed over i've prayed over them tonight and i've been practicing i said okay lord give me the music to play there's something to play for you for right now that i haven't played for a very long time mm -hmm. but i don't care it's not about playing the right notes. It's about the message. This Thank message, Jesus. what I'm about to play, I'm believing, Cheryl, let's believe together that people will receive their healing. Supernatural As power I'm playing right this now. music right here, and it says there's power. There is healing. We're talking about the Lord right now. There is hope. There's, 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 there's companionship. There's everything. And it's in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of the Lord. That's exactly what the song is. So I'm going to pray as I'm playing. Please pray with me. Jesus, yes. If you have to close your eyes, raise your hand to worship the Lord as I'm playing, do that right now, even on election night. doesn't matter. That's <laughs> under control. Let's put that aside right now. Amen. Let's just believe for supernatural power. Yes. I love the word supernatural. I do too. <laughs> and that same power when Jesus rose from the dead, the word of God says we could live in that same supernatural realm, Amen. which we're going to do right now, the next few moments. Put Lynn, we're believing right for your ankle and right now. Here we go. Here we go. Receive your healing.
we thank you for the miracles you, that have just taken place. Thank you. Pain Jesus. is going. Yes. Healing is taking Jesus. place. No. Bones are going back into place. Your thank hands, you. your back, your neck, your Glory wrist, your, your hip. Right I know there are people who have just had surgery on their hip. I pay, I pray mm -hmm. quick recovery in the name of the Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Heart put yes. back again. I know there's someone out there that has a problem with, you, with bypass, like my sister had. Just recently, yes, she just had Lord. five bypasses, we and she's doing great right today. Now. Praise God. But there's a person out there that has a problem that doctors can't even take care of. They said, oh, we can't. The aorta and three bypasses. Mm. We cannot touch it. But God is the healer. Oh, he is yes, the physician. He is. He's the doctor. He is. And he is for you, Praise too. Praise you, Lord. And I want you to share whatever comment you have, Thank saying, you. I have felt the presence of God already mm -hmm. in this session. Oh. And we haven't even started yet. <laughs> Bless you, Jesus. Oh, wow. So much it's power. power here, I'm telling you. Thank you, Rhonda. I know you Praise feel God. Rhonda's that. out there. I know we're praying the for Rhonda. Anointing. She's the one that, that, that with the back pain. Yes, we thank She's the Lord. She's there with that guy. You know, Jesus. sir, we've got some praise reports, too. Oh, I'm so thankful. Oh, I love sharing that? this because yes. it's good because it encourages our faith, you know, to receive yes, our it healing. Does. Yes, Whatever it is, financially or what. We have people that are saying, Dino, hey, I've got a good one. Okay. I, I, did I write it down? I think I did. I hope you did. Let's see. I, I, do you mind if I mention her name? Because I think this, this is a wonder request. She didn't say we didn't. We couldn't. Linda Stafford. Okay. If Linda's out there, you know, you know who you are, right? You're Linda Stafford. <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, she requested. Jesus. She was unable to sell her house. She says, "Dino, Cheryl, please pray." And it wasn't just us that prayed. It was Miss Barrett. It was all these prayer warriors are out there. Yes. You know what I love about Miss Barrett is this: even through her pain, yes. Even through all that excruciating uh, uh, annoyance Suffering. of what's going on mm -hmm. on her back, she ha still prays for others to be healed. Amen. And you know that's a good thing because right. she'll receive her healing at the same if time. You pray for Linda others, Stafford. The Lord will bless Cheryl, you. listen to this. I'm listening. She she didn't call in. She actually texted us and said. Uh, uh, she made a comment saying, please pray for me. I want to, I need to sell my house. It was October 23rd. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. And November 3rd. What are we now? We're about the 6th. Uh-huh. Not too long ago. We're the 6th. Three days. Guess what? What? Sold. Praise the Lord. The house is sold and they're closing you, on November 27th. Thank you, Jesus. Now that's what prayer does. Yes, it does. That? Yes. That, that, is, does that not build your faith right there? Jesus like, sure, hears us when we faith. pray. That's, he we hears believe our him. He does. He Listen, hears us. We would not be here tonight doing this week after week, although we love and have fun with this. But the de the, the deal is this: <laughs> the deal is that we're here because we're here for you. Yes, we're here to minister to you. The Lord. All the years. Yes. How old am I? I forget how old I am. I won't talk. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm 76 years old. I feel Are you? Like you don't. 26 years old. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, I feel young and feel and, and, and strong. All the years that I've been playing under the anointing. It's all coming together right yes. here for Thank you. you Jesus. Just for you. And it's a pleasure. It's an honor. I'm grateful. humbled by the fact that Cheryl and I could be here with you. Yes, to we To share are. And the we love you. and our love to you. We're grateful that you've come together with us to join nice? in corporate yeah, exactly. prayer and believe for yourself and for others. Yes. Peter Moritis is here and they say hi. He and Elena, Elena are saying and hello. Peter, and they're doing and pretty well. They still need some help. They need they help. Still need some yes, support. they do. And a lot of you folks have been they helping here. Prayer help yeah. still too. And prayer, yes. yes. Still taking treatments and what have you, but we're praying that people will get behind them. We've had some really faithful people yes. and, uh, that have been Biggs. helpful in that area. We have giving people. Diane actually. Savage. <laughs> Karen Shepherd. Yeah, we have a lot of people that are giving people. Yes. And, uh, oh, you know, uh, Cheryl just yesterday came up with this little Southern Gospel song I haven't heard in at least 125 years, okay? <laughs> it's interesting, though, but I remembered it, sort of, sort of. <laughs> see if you see that you know, know it. Let me play it first, and uh, Cheryl, help me if I mess up here, but I don't know. Let's try it.
got one that knows. No, you don't hear it anymore at all. very <laughs> much, but thank the Lord that it was here and it is here again. I love it. We're bringing back all these great songs. It's about time. Oh, yes, it is. Full circle. We're now thankful. we're now we're, we're now that we're older and still younger, we need to bring <laughs> back the songs that we grew up with. That's you know? right. It's so exciting to get it to is. sing these songs because it talks to you. If I could remember the words, it talks about what your heart is into. Yeah. Into the Lord. Is it right with God? That's the Is it right, right with God? Yes. Is it right with God? Because he looks inside. People see sure. the facade, but he looks down deep inside. Okay. Yeah. Did you guys get your hymnal yet? You're going to be oh, getting yes. it just before. Well, in time, I should say, I should say just in the, just before Christmas. It's going to be right around the ho Thanksgiving holiday, and that's pretty soon, too. And let me tell you the process. 
So those who have already purchased this, the Nordska, Nordska Publishing Company is going to send five to six hundred of those hymn books here to our house. We're going to take them out of the box and we're going to sign them right under our photograph inside. All right? You got it? We're going to put whatever. We love you. God bless you. I want to make it a little personal. We, we love you a lot. Okay? All my Facebook family. And then we send it back to the, the company. So there's a little process going here, you know, a little traveling, but you will receive your hymnal or hymnals. Some of you have been purchasing a lot of hymnals. Just the other day, someone bought 25 hymnals. It's amazing. Isn't that And wonderful? they're going to start giving them out of their congregation. That's what we're going to do. Amen. Sure. And I've got an idea. The Lord spoke to me in church last Sunday morning, and I've already shared this with a few friends, not many. So this is the time I'm going to kind of give you an idea of what God is laying on my heart about Marvelous these hymns and what idea. we want to do next year, God willing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to share this with you, and this is for all my Facebook family. But before I do, there's another hymn uh, that we had some friends over the other day. We had a little Gresham, the Millers that live right down the, right down the hallway oh, from here. Oh, yeah. Joy and Michael. Listen, I'm telling you, uh, they've just been through surgeries, and they're, they're doing good. They are. The Lord is uh, blessing. Speedy they're recovery. with us tonight. I'm praying speedy recovery. Praise the Lord. We are. Speedy recovery. In and everybody's so we were, life. Uh, we were tricked by one of the hymns. We couldn't finish it because I remember singing in my church, Glad Tidings Tabernacle, which was a little kid. That was, this was one of the favorite hymns that I'd sing. See if you remember it. Uh, so I looked it up. I mean, I mean the computer's amazing. Yes, it is. The song could be 500 years old, and oh my it'll goodness. it'll come up it with does. the lyrics. Yes. So let's see if I remember it. So it goes like this. Okay, name that too. <gasps> name sorry. that too. <laughs> so sorry. That spotlight almost fell on me. It right? surely did. I'm so okay. sorry. Wow. Will it stay? Uh, yes. It's just. Not, just spread those lights a little not, bit. It's not. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Even the spotlight got excited. Yes, it did. We have this little light thing. It's really great. It's like in a circle. It's really good. It brightens me up a little bit so you can see better. Okay, Cheryl. We're name just that tune. stay away from Ready? it. Ready? It yes. goes like this. And putting all these hymns back together again, like Humpty Dumpty. But anyway, oh, that will be glory for me. That's a great hymn of the church. It really, really is. One we haven't heard recently. So I just want to share that one with you. And you know, it just goes on and on. I mean, really, I can sit up here all night and play. You know, it's really interesting that I may not have played a song in years. But it's stored by, it's just stored in my brain. It really is. Somewhere back there, it's like I've got a, a library. <laughs> Sometimes I can't read all the books correctly, but I get some of the words, and then eventually it all comes together. I surely do. I'm like, oh, that will be glory for me. And, and, and I'm able to play it. Because it's, it, it's something that I've played 
the, you know, the brain is an amazing thing. God mm. created an amazing thing in us. Yes, he did. It really is. And sometimes we don't use enough of it. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> use your brain. Remember, it was, who would you know, parents would say, Dino, use your brain, okay? Yeah. And you need to keep thinking. You need to keep reading. You need to keep studying. Memorize. Memorize. And uh, that's a great thing to do. It keep, really, really keep is. Keep that brain fresh, right? Keep it fresh. But, uh, <laughs> like I just played. I mean, it all came back. But here's another one that I want to play for you that is precious. I love it. And I believe it's in this hymnal. A lot of these songs I play, you're going to receive very soon. And what an amazing congregation we're going to have out there, Cheryl. Sweet. Someone just wrote, Dino, and this is so precious. What is it? says, I pray that the Lord reveals himself to you so intensely mm. that he sweeps you off. And I'm sure it says your feet. I can't go any further, but wow. That he sweeps you off your yeah. feet. Can you imagine the Lord mm. loving you so much yeah. that he just comes to you and reveals himself mm. in a mighty way? And I pray this for you too. Thank you, Rhonda. Everyone. Rhonda, that was Rhonda so Barrett. Much. Thank you, dear. Rhonda, I pray that pain goes in the name of Jesus. Oh, I want to yes. I want to hear Jesus I want to hear a good report coming from you before this is over with. Amen. And you're sitting there not in pain, but something has happened to you. You feel the presence of God in your life, in your body. And I know it, it really if you book if you have received a healing or you've been touched by God by something we've said or played, please share with us. Because, you know, when you share with us, you're sharing with thousands of people out there that are watching. All in South Africa. Yes. Share your testimony. I one, want to hear. They want to hear. We all want to hear. We do. Yes. We and really do. one just said they used to sing that last song in their church See? in the 50s. Hold that one. Before that one, was that day by day? That was face to face. Oh. 
Oh, it was day by day. Before, yes. Oh, that's not face to face. face, Before, face. Uh -huh. <laughs> for the words <laughs> face to face praise the lord well let me let me play something for you that's one of my latest arrangements that remember i told you after the hymnal is completed and you receive that i'm going to get working on the recording and i'm going to record 101 i'm going to record every one of these hymns that, that that's in here 101 Man. and praise uh, the lord. and then we're going to put out a piano book to go with the CDs. Yes. So I'm kind of working on the arrangements as I go along. So because 101 is a lot of, that's a lot of music. It really is. So uh, save, uh, let's say Jesus saves. That's one of the Billy Graham songs you'd hear in a crusade. And um, so I, ha I have some ideas on this and, and tell me if you like it. And uh, it's not quite together and you'll see why. I mean, it's just not there until uh, I spend more time on it. You know, it takes me a while to process it and, and fine tune developing it. developing it. You know, yeah. Cheryl, because I yes. go back to the piano and I do something else to the arrangement until I really lock it in where I really feel the Lord wants it to be. Yes. But Jesus saves it to be a little bit triumphant. And so, and again, it's got to be good for the pianist. So I started off with. Uh, uh, <laughs>
this middle part. I love that. and saying beautiful well and I'm still working on it yeah and, and I love hearing it develop it's wonderful well you know you know let me tell you something I say this to so many people it's never too late to take piano lessons That's I don't right. care how old you are I told you I had a 96 year old grandma I've shared it so many times she I'm sure she's in heaven right now <laughs> but she came to me after a concert and she says Dino you've changed my life and I'm thinking wow go girl that's good what happened she said I just I just bought a piano. I said, really? And I thought it was gonna be one of these little upright pianos. No. She said, I got a seven foot grand. She said, I ain't gonna leave the money to my kids, that's for sure. <laughs> they're, they're gonna have to learn to play the piano. And she they? said Praise God. that she started taking piano lessons and the doctor had told her that's the best therapy for her, for arthritis, for concentration, coordination. Some, some of us need coordination. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I thought that was really cute. Wait. I might have to start taking piano lessons from you, sir. Let me do all the piano playing. Oh, okay. So you write I'll all the devotions. Sing, if that's you, okay. you write the devotions. I'd love to continue doing so. I love that. Oh, I just feel a great anointing yes. uh, right here, and and I pray you sense it too. I really do. And and do that person right now that feels lonely. I we get so many people. I know because the older we get. You know, your husband's pass away or your wife passes away and sometimes your children are not that close to you and, and maybe you don't even have children. And you just feel so alone. But that's why we're here. <clears throat> we're here to embrace you and love you and tell you, hey, we, we love you. We care for you. Yes, we are. You're, we you're are. like part of our family. You are our family. We're sent to you by the Lord. So don't feel lonely, please. Feel <laughs> secure in Christ Jesus. That's what oh, you need to do. Yes. So and I've got this little Bible right here that I always like to go to. And I have something here that someone needs to hear, Cheryl. Okay. okay? I love this Someone book. needs to hear this. It's a great book. Oh, I like this. It says, if you're sick, okay, this is for you. If you are sick, you don't deny that you are sick. Yet, on the other hand, you don't want to always be confessing your sickness. Right. Now, some of you keep saying, I'm lonely, I'm, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. I'm lonely. You have to stop saying oh, that. Yes. And, and when that comes to, if you are depressed and start getting into the Word, start reading the Bible, Jesus, you know, it's really something, though. I, I experienced this all my life. Every time I call on the name of Jesus, I feel something Thanks. that just brings peace Thanks. and love and joy and gladness in my life. Really, let me finish this, okay? This is for you, Grandma. Or even if you're not a grandma. It says, if you are sick, you don't deny that you're sick. Don't, never deny that you're sick. I mean, that's what it is. But by mixing... Okay, here it is. Don't deny that you're sick yet. On the other hand, you don't want to always be confessing your sickness. For that will establish your present circumstances to you. Mm -hmm. Denying sickness won't make you well. But by mixing faith with God's word, Amen. you are calling for the promise of God. Thank you to be manifested in your body. This will cause you to be fully persuaded and healing mm. is the result. Amen. Did you I get love, that? I love that phrase, fully persuaded. Fully per persuaded. We have to become fully persuaded. Okay, now I gotta say, uh, say this part again, because some of you grandmas, it, it's, you know, you're, you, you may not have gotten this. Denying sickness won't make you well, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. But by mixing faith with God's word, you are calling for the promise of God to be manifested in your body. This will cause you to be fully persuaded. And healing is the result. Yes. But a bang. There Amen. It is. So that's good. That's Becoming good fully teaching right persuaded there, isn't it? is precious. Thank you. 
Yes. Oh, how oh, that's wonderful. Great. That's awesome. You know, uh, as you know, we receive even mail. You know, very seldom do you receive letters. You know, today it's all computer. It's right. emails, right? Right. And letters. But <clears throat> when uh, uh, when they do send me letters, I love it when they write. We received several this week that were absolutely very precious. So sweet every time. Oh, man. Dino, Cheryl, you've blessed us. Cheryl, we love you singing and. Dino, thank you for the music you're playing. It really does. It's like it's like going to church Praise every week, and uh, it is like being in church, isn't it? Yes. The only difference is we don't take up an offering. That's uh -oh. the only thing, <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. And the reason why I brought that up because people, Cheryl, you, it's amazing the people that ask, well, how how can we bless your ministry? Yes. Because you come to us week after week. It's it is like being in church, and we're not doing as much. The truth of the matter is, we're not doing as much traveling. We, we, we're not looking for bookings right now, because we love just being with you. Yes, we do. But um, I, can we talk? Our faith community. Can we talk? <laughs> okay. We used to say that, can we talk? Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, we, we do have an overhead. And you, you know, listen, you guys are smart enough to know that. And uh, we do have the, the, the monthly bills that we all have to pay you know and of course we love to give too and our tithes very important you give your tithes to the church very important because there's right. something about that something very spiritual about that god really increases your mm -hmm. finances when you when you give your tithes we've experienced yes, that with, with our ministry but uh but you some of you well do you know how could we how, how can we help you it, we never that beg for music that's not for music yes but not for money no way no way but God does lay something on your heart, and I know you've shared that with me. You say, Dina, what's your address, what have you. But you know what? Just the other day, the Lord said that I really felt it in my spirit that that the Facebook actually can set up a, a donation. You know, people can actually give towards our ministry. And I didn't realize that, you know, for, for how about a year now, we, we didn't even try looking for anything like that. But it, the Lord revealed it to me. And I thought, well, here's an opportunity for make it, to make it so easy for some of you folk. It's just a button. Actually, I think it just started today that people can actually give wonderful gifts to our ministry to keep us going like this, to be with you and Cheryl, you know. And, uh, you, and, and then we'd like to in turn give to those that, that are needy. Yes. Uh, that's, that's really on our hearts. It really is. Mm -hmm. So whatever you send us a tenth of that goes into our ministry or get goes to our church for sure our tithes or somewhere so i made it convenient for you and i had a hard time figuring it, figuring it out because I, i'm not that savvy when it comes to all this technical stuff right cheryl and cheryl is though oh i am not <laughs> <laughs> okay. that's what i get that rise from you but anyway we did set it up where you can donate that's all i'm going to say and, and if god lays it on your heart <laughs> Just obey him. That's all, and we'll be blessed by that. We really, really will. And we'll be able to bless others. And we'll be able to bless we others. We thank the Lord for the opportunity. And come to you week yes. after week. I don't know what I'm thinking about, but I want something that, <laughs> that takes us back a little bit, um, you know, a little country church. About, uh, well, I don't know. So Thank you. 
now. I know. But we're going to fly away one morning in the twinkling of an eye, and oh, that will be yes. so fast. It will be so quick, and we'll we'll trap the music. don't have to think about it. Yeah. The Lord will come to get us, and we'll and be gone. It won't be too... Oh. Praise the Lord. Long from now. No. I really believe that. I believe that. And if you're watching right now and and you've never really committed your life to Jesus, given your oh. heart, oh, yes. given your burdens over to him, you know, of course, it all goes back to the cross. Yes. But first, number one, you got to believe in the word of God. Because I have no basis of argument if you want to, if you want to uh, uh, what's the word, argue with me on anything that's that, that you think is spiritual. As far as I'm concerned, if it's not the Word of God, don't believe it. Don't believe it. <laughs> Just don't <laughs> That's believe it. That's it, Cheryl. It. Just don't believe it. Yeah. But I'm telling you, the Word of God says if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. And this to me is where the rubber meets the road. This Amen. is where you've got to start. Amen. If you've never accepted Christ, all you got to do is say to Jesus, come into my heart, forgive me of my sins, cleanse me. Say it, forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I acknowledge your death upon the cross. I acknowledge your death upon the you cross. You died for me a sinner. You died for me a sinner. And if I were the only person on this earth. And if I were the only person on this earth. You would have died for me. You would have died for That's me. That's how much I know you love me. That's how much I know you love me. Thank you for com coming into my heart. Thank you for coming into my heart. Coming into my heart to stay. Coming into never my to heart leave me to stay anymore. and never to leave me anymore. You'll be my comfort. You'll be my comfort. You'll be my companion. You'll be my companion. When I'm lonely, you'll be there. When I'm lonely, you'll be there. When I need joy in my life. When I need joy in my life. You will life. give me joy. Amen. You'll Supernatural joy. joy. Supernatural joy. There is joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Remember that one? Down in my heart. Down in my heart, got the joy, 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 down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. So you need to hear that little chorus for sure. To stay is the truth. Now those that have <laughs> said that prayer, you've done the most important move you could make in your life, decision, mm -hmm. when you accepted Christ as personal Savior. So now I want you to continue to follow him, go to church, attend a church where they teach the Word of God. Okay? And then get yourself a Bible and read it. And God will speak to you. Do you have something, Cheryl? I do. Romans 10.10. 10, and you all probably know it. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever, whoever believes in him will not be ashamed. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is generous toward all who call upon his name. And if we just call on his name and you can trust and believe. And then you'll have to say this. To my Savior, my Savior God to thee. the results and let's see God work in our nation Keep praying. and we're believing that God's will be done Amen. at the White House in the Senate in the House and pray for those that are placed into office that they will yes. know Jesus as That's their right. personal Savior and lead our land back to the Lord and we're, we're going to believe whatever the results are God as I said at the beginning God is still in his throne yes he will Amen. not let us down okay so we're going to say good night I'm so glad we came on this election night. We, we love did. you all. We almost did. And you said, <laughs> Dino, yes, we're going to be there with you. So you did. And thank you for being there for us and praying yes. for us. And again, text us and let us know that oh, yes, things are fine please. and, and mm -hmm. God is helping you in whatever situation you're, you're, you're in. Because we want, we want to hear. We want to hear the testimonies. We want to thank the Lord for Veteran Sunday that's coming <laughs> that's up, this I believe. Sunday. And we want to pray for the veterans and and do something wonderful for them. Yes. Bless them. Sure. For they have kept us safe. And again, if you could tuck a little something in that donation, I, we'd really appreciate it. I don't care what a dollar, whatever it is. Thank you. We're not going to beg for anything except let God speak to you. 
And we want to make it convenient for you to be able to do that and to bless us as we've been blessing you week after week. Okay? Love you so much. Which means I love you very much. And we'll see you next week, God willing. And uh, we'll stay in touch. Okay? Amen. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.